Hafadei, welcome to the Guam Contractors Association's GCA Today. I'm Joe Roberto, host of today's session, and today, really, I have a very special guest, very good friend, Dylan Byerly with Rhino Linings. Welcome, Dylan. Hey, Joe. So, please, tell us about yourself, uh, your company, and what your products are all about and how it can help serve the people of Guam. Um, well, as Joe said, I'm Dylan Barley, uh, one of the owners for Rhino Lining Squam. Um, you know, we've been in business here on Island now for 10, going on 11 years this, this June. Nice. Um, we, we primarily came to Guam or opened up our, our shop on Guam for the automotive industry, which everybody is kind of more familiar with. Okay. Um, Rhino Lining is actually a, a chemical company. Okay. So, um, what happened is they bought a bunch of uh, flooring, you know, epoxy chemicals, polyurethane companies. You, you know, uh, uh, let me stop you. I, uh, something just popped into my head. Dylan, chemical, when you're talking about chemical, here in Guam, it being wet, humid, hot. Yeah. Does your product stand up or withstand our harsh environment? Well, yeah, so with with everything that Rhino Linings and everything that we've added on as mm -hmm. far as manufacturers are concerned is every you know robust products things that are industrial grade um, really higher end uh, types of materials nice. because of our environment okay um, we we shy away from you know kind of like the lower end stuff that you're going to have to reapply you know year over year um, but with that you know there's additional expenses of course the material costs are up front Okay. Um, are quite more, you know, quite a bit more. So with Rhino Linings, exactly what is Rhino Linings? So Rhino Linings is um, there's a, a few different types of materials that Rhino Linings okay. makes in regards to like bed liners. Okay, bed liners. Uh, bed liners. Um, you know, you have your polyureas, your pure polyureas. You have a polyurethane. Okay. Uh, material, and then you have your general urethanes. Um, what we apply here on Guam for say for trucks and, and what have you is a pure polyurea. Um, reason being is we, we brought in uh, polyurethanes early on okay. and during the rainy season polyurethanes are very susceptible to humidity mm. uh, you know, because it uses moisture uh, in its curing process okay. so when it bumps up you know, past 55% uh, relative humidity yeah. um, you start to get these pinholes. So, oh, okay, okay. Um, what we did is we opted to go with the pure polyurea. It's more expensive. Okay. Um, but it, it kind of gets us through the rainy season without any hiccups. You, you mentioned more expensive. Okay, I own a uh, truck, a regular standard size truck. Uh, what would something like that cost me? Uh, standard size, when you say standard, you're probably talking like a mid size. Tacoma Ranger, yep. um, on average, that's about five hundred fifty dollars. Five hundred, and now we're talking about just the bed, just the just bed. the bed portion. Now I've seen some trucks. Actually, I've seen some cars rolling here in Guam. Yeah. The whole car, Dylan. Yeah. The whole car is has something on it. Right. Was that your stuff? Um, then? We've done a handful. Oh, nice. Um, if you see um, some, there's there's some that are out there that are really brightly colored. Okay. Um, that's not from us. We okay. haven't done anything, in, you know, like the fluorescence. I believe. Uh, um, gosh, I don't know the name of the company. That's okay, that's off the okay. Top of my head. But you know, we what we've done is we've done a lot of uh, a, a lot of black vehicles. We okay. recently did um, a red uh, Tundra. Okay. Um, you know, we've done some like uh, industrial gray or desert okay. sand stuff. Um, but you know, we don't. We, we again it's just a handful yeah now what would be the purpose of me coming to you spending five hundred dollars to put your product in my bed right. what what was would be my reason mainly protection protection right. okay so if i'm i'm that farmer i'm that construction dude i'm the uh the, the person who just really abuses my truck can right. your products handle that That's... abuse and that's what it's designed for. Oh, okay, okay. Now, I mean, you know, there, like with anything, there's limitations, right? So, um, you know, so you, you say you're uh, loading a, a, a heavy load of tin in there and okay. that metal is sharp on the corners and, you okay. you know, somebody's, you know, really careless in loading it. Yeah, you, you can cut through it, um, okay. you know, because with, with anything, um, it's not indestructible. Okay. Uh, but for the most part, general purpose and, and you know, 
the run of the mill users, you're not going to have any issues. Okay, so the lumber I pick up at Benson's, the the concrete blocks, the sand, go to go to uh, Paris Brothers, yeah. load up that concrete uh, or the the Just sand, the meal, that yeah, all of that stuff, and. At the end of the day, after it's unloaded, could I just uh, simply just get my hose and just rinse it off and it looks like the day yeah. I drove it away from you? Oh, I mean, you know, with, with a little bit of wear and tear, I mean, you know, other than it being dirty, yeah, okay. it looks the same. Okay. Um, you know, we, we've, had, we've had customers, I mean, you know, that have gotten in wrecks and, um, you know, everything is intact. Nice. Uh, for, Whoa. I mean, even with the, because the flexibility of it, we have... Wow. With the polyurea, we have a 300% elongation rate, so you know that you can roll that and and it'll just conform to the metal nice, with whatever band nice. you're. So that that's an added benefit for my personal safety and the safety of others in my vehicle. That that's uh, I mean the the products it's it's that's there. Um, now let let me ask you any type of warranty that comes with it. If I'm spending if five hundred dollars, what kind of guarantee? Could you give me? If it's a factory paint job, mm -hmm. then it's a lifetime warranty. Okay. Um, you know, once you, we don't, we don't, uh, with like say aftermarket paint jobs, um, okay. we, you know, we take it on a case by case basis looking at, um, you know, the quality of the job, of course, okay. um, how the paint is adhering to the, the, the body. Okay. Um, you know, of course, if, if there is, existing rust or corrosion on the vehicle we can't warranty it at yeah. that point because oh, yeah you, you know you're chasing a, a, a problem that's never ending yeah that's kind of makes sense there right. where you know you, what, what if i went to a body shop got it fixed got it repaired right. was that something that i learned my lesson now let me go see dylan right. and let's take care of this once and for all right. does that help against i get a brand new vehicle or truck forty thousand dollars of investment mm -hmm. into this vehicle I want to protect that investment. Would you say that's a smart move to yeah. to cover the the back there? Absolutely. Now, I just got it. I picked it up. I'm happy and I'm excited and I want to drive my truck, but I also want to protect it. How long will it your service take? Uh, how long will on average take? on average what we do is we receive, you know, uh scheduled vehicles before 10 a.m. Okay. Um and we have it back by 5, 5.30. Oh, so the day, same, same day. day? Yeah. So Outstanding. Um, you know, after 10 o'clock uh, in the morning, we can't really guarantee that we're going to get it back to you the same day. There is, you know, of course, there's an installation process with anything. But, uh, you know, we do our best to try and return everything the same day. So if I have uh, also, a, you know, let me take away from that personal owned vehicle. Now I own a construction company and I have a fleet of maybe five units or five or 10, let's say 10 right. trucks. Right. Can, how long before I get those 10 trucks back? Well, if, if, we, if the schedule is clear okay. for um, that fleet okay. and, and you're scheduled up for, for those full 10 trucks that week, um, we can have that fleet, uh, fleet of 10 done in about two and a half days. Nice, days. nice. Yeah. So within one week, my, my firm, my guys out there loading up their tools, just no. throwing it on the back, the lumber there, the blocks there, no problem. Yeah. Within a week, and back. Yeah. Oh, because, nice. I mean, for example, uh, a while back we did DZSP, and we did about, like, I don't know, 45 of their vehicles at the time. Um, we were 45? Yeah. <laughs> nice, nice. We were, we were averaging about four to five trucks a day. Nice. Um, you know, some days we would actually be able to bump bump up to seven, um, depending on like how we loaded the uh, the warehouse that, you know, the day before. But, you know, I mean, our guys are good. They've been doing it for a long time. Nice. Um, we haven't had a lot of loss, you know. Every one of our employees has been over with us for over, gosh, a year and a half now. My main installers have been with me for seven, eight years. Nice. So how long has Rhino Linings been in business? Here Ten. In Ten going on 11 years. So oh. we started over in Pickenell Road when we first uh, okay. when we first uh, opened up with a three thousand square foot warehouse. We're now at uh, just short of six thousand square feet. Wow! Um, and then we're going to be uh, we're, we're we're looking at moving um, to another facility uh, by the end of the year. Um, we're going to be putting up a new uh, warehouse behind AK. Oh, outstanding! And, Congratulations! Thanks. Yeah. Uh, well, make sure we tint it. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> but. Now, going back to the your staff, I mean, that obviously takes some training. You don't just 
throw on that film or the uh, the chemical there do would you provide me as your employee that proper guidance and training to apply it with quality and of course yeah so each one of our like our new employees yeah. that have come through um, you know they always work with our lead installers for, nice. for at least nice. two or three months before we even get them on a truck Wow um, you know we, we focus um, on prep okay. for those first few months okay. making sure that they get the skills on uh, masking sanding you know cleaning nice um, just because with, with any type of coatings you're looking at about 80% of it is is prep nice you know, once you get to that point where uh, you know anything's prep the the, the 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 vehicle surface or the flooring surface or anything. yeah yeah the surface here so as long as you've been in business I, I have to ask how long have you been a part of the Guam Contractors Association about eight years outstanding and, and recently and thank you for becoming also a part of the small business community yeah. that's great news yeah. out a any uh, last couple words yeah I, I, again you know I mean we, we are part of the Guam uh, Contractors Association because we got into the flooring industry. Okay. So we've done quite a few uh, nice projects. We do a lot of sports courts. Uh, we did teas in gymnasium. Nice. Um, yeah, and we did several large epoxy flooring projects up in Anderson. So it's just a whole world of rhino linings. And well, coatings. And yeah. coatings. Yeah. Well, Dylan Barley, thank you for coming. All Great right. day. Thanks, uh, hope to see you. Please, if you would like to get on GCAs today, get your product known, give us a call. Thank you. Thank you.